she's that decoy when it comes up over.
you've seen how it went down far from what we were planning on. But we ended up finally pulling that bird over here. And uh, there's actually two more gobblers that were coming to my left. It's that same group of three. And the two were going down this ridge to the left. So I said, Kayla, you got to shoot the one on your right, and then I'll have an opportunity to shoot one on the left. Well, uh, Kaylee shot this one on the right and it took off and we just went up there and there's some blood and stuff so we're going to have to go and see if we can we're just going to walk down through here and kind of grid search and see if it ended up dying or not it wasn't that far we got two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, wasn't it's not bleeding enough to actually be able to track so we're just gonna have to go up here and kind of grid search this that's the absolute worst imaginable outcome is what happened come look at all this blood this thing's bleeding like crazy now like an actual blood trail. Look at all of it right through here. Right there. Right there. Right there. There's a bunch of blood and feathers right here. this turkey quite a ways and you see there's a whole bunch of blood right there on the what dead we'll get ready to shoot him if he's not oh he's not dead babe he's not dead Shoot it right in the head. Take your time. We got the turkey. We tracked it about 100 yards and then uh, seen where it got up against a tree and there were some feathers laying there. Kaylee's like, there it is. I could see its head. I knew it wasn't dead yet. So Kaylee shot and it took off like a freaking bat out of hell. And then I chased it down, tackled it, and we got it killed. But Kaylee's a little down and out about her first shot and stuff and it happens, but thank God we 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 went and looked over everything really close, you know. Kaylee just found that speck of blood and there was not a single feather where that shot was. I'm like, well, I mean, that doesn't look very good. You know, it's just a little tiny speck. And as we tracked it, it started bleeding more and more and more. And I finally like, man, this thing's a hurting unit. And we finally came up on it. The shot was only 37 yards. So I think, I don't know what happened, but she put a few BBs in, in it to, to get it. Oh, 
Well, here it is, everybody. Kaylee and I had worked hard to kill this bird. This is uh, one of three that we've been dealing with all season. And uh, this is the same bird that popped over the ridge on us yesterday and picked us out and, and took off. This was the dominant bird of the three. The other two were always together and he was kind of separate, you know, doing his own thing. And the other ones were always following him around. But uh, this morning they were roosting quite a ways away from where they normally have been roosting. And uh, we got down here on this bottom side of them, uh, knowing that the direction they normally go, no matter what. And uh, I just gave them real light calling right when they hit the ground. And I never talked to them again because I didn't want them to pinpoint us when they came over that hill like they did the other day. I wanted them to kind of wonder, and I had that full strut decoy out uh, up in front of us to try to maybe keep their uh, eyes on that and attention off us. And I think it worked. I think this bird's yeah. seen it. And uh, he was actually working in, and then the other two times were coming up the ridge on my left when I Kaylee shot this one. And they didn't say anything coming in. They came in silent. Yep. Yep. So Kaylee's a little bummed out about the shot she made, but it happens to the best of us. I don't really know what happened, uh, but the uh, turkey did get hit on the first one, obviously, pretty hard. And uh, luckily we went and Kaylee actually found blood and we tracked it over 100 yards to when we finally jumped it up and uh, chased it down, but mm -hmm. certainly not ideal. Far less than ideal. But we got it and Kaylee got her bird. We put a lot of time and effort into this, so it's really nice when it comes together. I don't know what happened with that video because I was videoing and then when Kaylee shot and I seen this bird just spin to take off, like you missed it, I just threw my gun up to try to get a shot at it as it was running away and I think the camera went flying at that point. I don't know though. But it was it was very much chaotic at following the shot. But we got her done. What was your take on the whole deal? I think you know my take on the whole deal. I'm quite frustrated. That's something. Thank God we followed up, you know, thoroughly and were able to uh, find that blood because I thought you clean missed it. Yeah. But we got it. Uh, obviously, I want to thank everybody for watching, and especially I want to thank our patrons of the channel. Uh, you guys uh, make doing this stuff uh, a lot easier for us, so we really appreciate that. And uh, we have, uh, we're going to have hoodies in. Well, I'm going to do a pre-order. Okay. We're so gonna there's more information coming. Yeah, we're going to have hoodies in here pretty soon, uh, which will be nice because we always wear hoodies and we don't have any of our own uh, KEO hoodies. So we're going to have that, and we have those uh, KEO mugs and koozies and uh, t-shirts and hats, so uh, good deal, babe. That was really kind of the last time you were gonna be able to hunt anyways, wasn't it? Yeah, today's the last day. So? Went out with a few bangs. A few bangs is right, but we got it. Lazy. <laughs> hey Shelby. Hey Dixie. You crazy girls. Hey. Kaylee got him. It was a shit show and a half. Was it? I've never I'm seen so your daughter disgusted. miss a turkey at 30 yards before in my life until today. Well, I didn't miss it the first time. Second time I was like 10 yards. It was horrible. I was crying again. Oh, man. 
She got it, though. We saw, well, we went in there after them, and we waited in the field to figure out where the heck they actually were, got set up, whatever. And then once they flew down, Cliff called just a little bit, and he gobbled, 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 gobbled. I didn't want him to pinpoint, I didn't want him to know right where we were, like last time. When he right. came up there, he looked right at us and right. got out of there. So I wanted him to come up over and not have us instantly, you know what I mean? So I went quiet on him, and I stuck that strutter up about 15 yards in front of us on that right on a high spot so the first thing he'd see when he came up over is that strutter and it worked and he freaking so eyes over there yeah exactly there. he went right to it it was well, perfect was it like what Timber. 40 yards Timber. he came on my side yeah, and he I had him at like 50 yards it. right in front of me and uh kaylee's like shoot it and i'm like no he's about to see that decoy and he's gonna come right to you and sure enough he head turned white as snow right in front of me right over on the Kaylee side and finally about that time the two other toms came up over and I'm like holy shit we're gonna double and uh I finally got the camera on the one Kaylee was on and I'm like shoot it and she's like behind a it's behind a tree I'm like if I had an hour well, for every were... time Kaylee's told me a turkey's behind a tree I couldn't see it the entire time that it was strutting because it would walk to the right strutting and then just as I'd get ready to be able to see it it would turn around and go back it just like went back and forth for like 20 minutes or so. so. And I'm like, I cannot see this thing at all. There were four pine trees that were stacked like this in a line, or yeah, hemlock trees that were stacked. Couldn't see it at all. And so then I finally saw it and it had gone over towards him. I'm like, if you have an open shot, just shoot the And well then, he told you what happened. So then I shoot and it takes off. I'm like, oh my freaking God, this has never happened in my life. So then he takes off after it and it went wherever it went at first and no feathers no nothing so cliff's like well let's just get our stuff and we'll just walk around and see if we can see it well, well then like, I, found... I don't know how you could possibly i mean it was burn it was there was no obstruction it was right in the middle of this opening 35 yards away like your pattern it wouldn't even it was perfect you know your pattern would be like ideal and i'm like there's no like i just couldn't understand she well, had a rest she had up. You were right on it. Yeah. Yeah, but you had to hit it, otherwise it would have flew well, away. Well, it, it did. Really seen it. I did, because then when we were walking, I found two little drops of blood. I'm like, well, there's blood. It tracked it over 100 yards. Really? Yeah. 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 Well, that looks That's like... a big one. Sure is. It's a big one. Well, Grandma's going to be tickled with him. Oh, no, that's, that's an inch. Longer. That's an inch. Yeah, that one's that one. real long. That one's the big boy. Oh, yeah. oh he's a yeah. fighter. Fighter, fighter. Well, congratulations. Very Way nice. Way to go, girl. One for the girls. Uh -huh. hey, take Mother's Day. Mother's, Mother's Day out. present. Yeah. Yeah. Mother's <laughs> Day. Give me one right now. I'll, I'll put it in my fedora. In your what? My fedora. Oh. Thank you. Do you want to? That's good. Those are long feathers to be putting in a hat. Wait till you see them Grandma them attack them. that thing. Well, that was from Cliff oh, breaking. Cliff his... there. Well, Clifford broke his neck. That was not a gunshot. <laughs> but you, you shot before he broke his neck. <laughs> yeah, he okay. had to we're gonna get you, you got your phone to take a picture straight. of Grandma? No, I don't. I'll get it. Kaylee's takes better pictures than mine. Got a heck of a beard on it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Super. Come on, act alive. <laughs> <laughs> on the farm? <laughs> yep. How many has come off the farm so far? Just that one. I'll be done. Yep. I want that. I shot mine on the game lands. Oh, around the... Yeah. Guys hunting over there? Oh, yeah. ton oh, of them. This is going to be good. I can get these out dry. You, I mean, you could get these out <laughs> Yeah. I usually pull them off with players. Yeah, you can. You're going to pluck every feather off of this thing? Yeah, I'm yeah, going to have it. You get, you get them hot, and then it comes off a lot See easier. See how nice that is? It's going to... It works with anything. You get you it know, hotter. This is... Oh, this your... <laughs> Look at that, man. You can... I just want to know where the heck I shot it. Mostly. You but shot the, high. You know what? We're going to take as many as we could off dry, because they're coming right off. Wow, look how nice and white it is under there. Yeah. Well, he wants a beard on well, he's here, I'll, cu it. I'll cut it off here. No, it's the tail, too. I don't need the I tail. I don't need that. 
Unless you want it. You want me to hold anything? I got my bloody hands anyway. Boy, look at the color of that blood. That is health. There, <laughs> here it is. Fans. Yeah. When they get in, putting in the hot water, there'll be no lice on this baby. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a cuddle in out. Jesus Christ. You're having our balls off over a dead turkey. Give me a break. When I fix it, you'll come and eat it. Okay. You're welcome, too. We'll oh, have. Tag along. We'll have. We'll have all this good stuff. The last stuff. time you used that, you gutted my buck out. Yeah. The one that was going though. 100 miles an hour. There it goes. Chicken yeah. Swedes would have to have the best night. Yeah. You'd think we could make one once in a while. Do you want me to hang it up upside down so the blood runs I out of its it. head? We yeah, we want to all the blood to run out. Here, tell us what you're going to do to it. Well, we're going to put it in hot water, boiling hot water, and pull each feather mm -hmm. individually. <laughs> it's gonna look very good, and when I get it done in the oven, it's gonna be brown, and it's <laughs> gonna be so good. Okay. How long of a process is it, from start to finish, like boiling, well, plucking? Well, it would take us probably 20 minutes to do. Oh, take that's not long. Off. And then the oven deal is the same as the other turkeys. Oh, so just a couple hours. Yeah. All so. right. Well, there's your Mother's Day present. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>